Welcome back. Today, I am going to show you how to make a little tiny cartoon version of yourself like I have done to make this thing right here. And I will show you a couple of different ways that you can use this little teacher in your lessons. Let's get started. I made this character on Gotcha Life. This is a free game that you can download and keep on your computer, and I use it all the time. Right now, you can see the most recent pose that I had my character in, and the background is green because I can use the transparent background maker to take away the background and then put the teacher wherever I want to. However, you can also go to the studio here. There are tons of backgrounds to choose from. There are even like solid colors, right? I can just, you know, and then I can put as many characters as I want to. I can change the pose. Yeah, whoa. I can flip them around, make them really big if I want to. And this is actually how I make my cartoons for my toddler lessons. I make little stories uh, using this feature. Once I'm happy with my scene, I click hide. I take a screenshot and then I just copy it into my lesson, no problem. If I want to include the little teacher Kayla inside of my regular lessons uh, without the story, then I will use the green screen instead and remove the background so that I can just put her wherever I want to. Now, let's just make a new character today so I can kind of walk you through this. Let's go with this one and we can make it a boy or a girl. Change the skin color. You can even make them green if you want to. Make it like an alien character. I have done that for a story before. Make him a ghost, you know, whatever. And you can change his height. Right now he's in a kind of a funny pose. Let's put him in a standard pose so that we can see better. You can make him really tall or short. No big deal. You can give them blush. There's different types of blush here. Now, the rear hair is going to be this part that's on top of the head. There's a lot to choose from. Just find one that you're happy with. Some styles look better with others. You can even give them ears if you really want to. We're going to go with this one. Then the back hair is the part that comes down. So you can make it really long. Some of these look a little bit crazy, but just play around with it. It's fun. It's like a dress up game. Now you can use this to make just a random character. I add characters to my story and I'll get a little bit more creative with it. Um, but if you're trying to make it look like you, obviously you're going to want to pick hairstyles that are close to your own and then add the front hair. Then you can change the color. You can make it any color that you want to. You can add ponytails too. Uh, I use the eyes to convey different emotions. So I will change the eyes when I want to do different scenes. But then I have a default eye. Uh, so make sure that whatever eye you pick you are, like for example, I chose this one because it's easy to remember. It has a heart in it, so I always know which one it is. Uh, but you can use any of them that you want to. Change the color. Now, to change the background color in like this, you can do it right here and just click on the background color. But you can find that same thing here in the studio. If you wanted to make a scene with multiple characters, you can totally do that. Not a problem. Now, if you're in this mode and you want to change like their facial expressions, you just click on their icon down here and then click edit. And then you can change their face. And then hit go back to studio and it'll take you right back where you were. And then you can make it full screen, hit hide, take your screenshot, and then add them where you want to create your story. So I use this uh, a lot whenever I want to make a story for students to practice the phonics that they just learned or to learn new vocabulary and things like that. I also sometimes use it with grammar. If I'm having a really hard time finding clip art for something, I will just make my own clip art using Teacher Kayla. So this is just a super fun way to include yourself in your lessons, kind of add that personal touch. The students think it's really funny. They love seeing Teacher Kayla make an appearance 
and they love it when I'm telling a story and something silly happens to me. Like uh, there's one story where the little teacher Kayla is trying to dance on the stage and she slips and she falls down. Students die laughing. They think it's the funniest thing ever. So there's lots of different things that you can do with this. It's just a lot of fun. Maybe not completely necessary, but it's fun and it's easy. So why not, right? And that's pretty much it. If you decide to make your own little teacher, please take screenshots and let me see. I want to know what you come up with. Next time, I'm going to talk more in detail about Minicam and some of the features that it has for those of you who are not familiar with it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Thank you.